Welcome to ECLIMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed a micrometer screw gauge and its accuracy. We said the accuracy of a micrometer screw gauge is 0.01 millimeter and this represents the smallest division which you can read on a thimble scale. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss more on how to read a scale on a micrometer screw gauge. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe how to read a micrometer screw gauge correctly. And then later, we are going to handle few examples concerning reading a micrometer screw gauge scale. So we discussed that this instrument has two scales. We have a sleeve, a sleeve, which has a linear scale on top here, which is graduated in millimeters. And then we have a sleeve scale below here, which represents a, a half a millimeter. And we also have a thimble scale. This is a thimble scale. This thimble scale, we said it's in terms of one division represent one over 100 millimeters, which we also call the accuracy. So it means any reading that you make here, you will multiply it with the accuracy, which is 0.01, all which is equals to 1 over 100 millimeters. So whenever, whatever you read on this instrument, you record it in millimeters, nothing else. So in this case, for you to get the total reading on this instrument, you will read the sleeve, which has a linear scale and a sleeve scale. Then you will add it to the thimble scale reading, then what you will get is the total reading or the, the total dimension of the object whose diameter you are measuring. So if you have an object like in this case here, I want us to read this scale once again. Like in this case, if you read the linear scale on top here, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this, the, the linear scale reads four, but the below it, we also have a sleeve scale, which reads a half. Remember where we have four below, uh, below uh, it, there's this mark also here. So yeah, it means it is zero, 0 0.5, yeah, it's 0 0.5, one, 1.5, two, 2.5, and then four, we have here 4.5, 4.5. So the, Sleeve scale reading, sleeve scale reading, if I can write initials like that, is 4.5 millimeter. Then now, can we read the thimble scale? Thimble scale reading. Thimble scale reading, in this case, we read from down up, like in this case, we will read from here up, and we read the value which is in line with the horizontal line on the thimble scale. So we read this value there. So in this case, it is 20, 21. So it, the, 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 the thimble scale is 21 divisions, but we said each division represents 0 0.01 millimeter. So if we want to know the value in millimeter, we will multiply by the accuracy that is 0 0.01 millimeter. And then we are going to get 0 0.21 millimeter. Now for us to get the micrometer reading then we are going to add the sleeve scale reading added to thimble scale reading in this case it's going to be 4.5 millimeter plus 0 0.21 millimeter which is going to give us which is going to give us 4.71 millimeter so in this case you could have read your when we are micrometer screw gauge correctly. However, it's important to note that some micrometer screw gauge don't have this scale below here. We don't have this scale here. So if a micrometer screw gauge does not have that scale, then you just read the linear scale up here, then you go straight to the thimble scale. So let's now handle a few questions. The first question reads, what is the reading on the micrometer screw gauge below? So for you to make reading on this micrometer screw gauge, we said if you need total 
reading. Then you are going to add the sleeve scale reading plus the simple scale reading. In this case, we are going to begin with the sleeve scale reading. What is the sleeve scale reading? Remember, I said you start reading the linear scale up here. This is the linear scale. And then you will read the sleeve scale later. So in this case, if this is 0, 0 0.2, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So this linear scale reads 6. But below it, we also have the one which represents a half a millimeter. So if this is 0, this is 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5, and 6, 6.5. So the sleeve scale reading is 6.5 millimeters. Then now can we go to the simple scale reading? Simple scale reading. How many divisions are there? Remember we said you read a value which is in line with the horizontal line on the sleeve scale. So in this case, we will read this value here. So in this case, you look at below what is there. We have 0, then 1, 2. So in the sleeve scale, we have two divisions. But we said one division represents 0 0.01 millimeter. So in this case, the sleeve scale is reading 2 times 0 0.01, which is 0 0.02 millimeter. And now in this case, if you need the total, total reading is going to be 6.5 millimeter plus 0 0.02 millimeter, which is going to give us 6.52 millimeter. So that is the total reading of that instrument. What you do, you read the linear scale then you read the a half a millimeter, that is the sleeve scale. That would be the sleeve scale reading. Then now you read the simple scale reading. Then you multiply it with the accuracy, that is 0 0.01 millimeter. Then you add the two. You add the sleeve scale reading with the simple scale reading. Then you are going to get your total reading on this instrument. Now we can do the second question. The question reads, what is the reading on the micrometer screw gauge below? So as you can see, this instrument now is different from the one that we have just handled. First, this one, it has 100 divisions. So it means its pitch. Its pitch is 1.0 millimeter. Then it does not have a scale below here. It does not have a half a millimeter. Now, can we read this instrument? Yes. So for us to get... Total reading, total reading of this instrument is sleeve scale reading plus the simple scale reading. We are going to begin with the sleeve scale reading. What does it read? In this case, you look at what we have here. We have 10 and then we have 15. Between them, there are 5 divisions. So it means this is 11, 12, 13, 14, then this is 15. Then if we go to above 15, then this will be 16. So the sleeve scale is reading 16 millimeters. Then now, can we read the simple scale? Yes. If we want to read the simple scale reading, it's going to be, I told you we read the line which, the, the, the mark which is in line with the horizontal line of this sleeve scale. So we read this point here. And in this case, we below it, we have 90, and then we have 95, and in between, there are five divisions. So in this case, it is 90, 91, 92. So it is 92 divisions. So in this case, 92, 92 divisions. But one division represents 0 0.01 millimeter. That is the accuracy. So in this case, we will have as our simple scale reading as 0 0.92 millimeter. So in this case, for us to get total reading, we are going to add sleeve scale reading plus the simple scale reading, which is going to give us 
16 millimeter plus 0 0.92 millimeter. So the total answer here it's going to be 16.92 millimeter, like that. Now I think this thing is becoming easier. Let's handle another question. So another question reads, what is the reading on the micrometer screw gauge below? Now it's very simple here. What you do to get total reading, total reading, you take the sleeve scale reading plus the simple scale reading. So can we start with the sleeve scale reading? It's going to be, we have zero, then 0 0.5, one, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. So the sleeve scale reading is reading 3.5. Or you can just go to this one, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, then 3.5. So it is 3.5. Then we have the simple scale reading. What is the simple scale reading? In this case, we, re we read this mark, which is in line with the horizontal line of the sleeve scale. In this case, it is 25. Then from 25, we have 30 above it. There are five divisions in between. So this is 26, 27, then this is 28. So the sleeve has 28 divisions, but each division represents 0.01 millimeter, which is going to give us 0.28 millimeter. So in this case, the sleeve scale, the simple scale reading is 0.28 millimeter. Now for us to get total reading, we are going to add 3.5 millimeter plus 0.28 millimeter. So in this case, if we add 3.5 millimeter plus 0.28 millimeter, it's going to give us 8.73. So in this case, our answer is 3.78 millimeter so when you are doing when you are doing measurements or when you are recording measurement or when you are reading an instrument in this case you must first specify down what the sleeve scale reading is then you will specify uh, the simple scale reading with multiplication of this uh, accuracy then you add the two we if you come up with this final answer without showing us where you came from then you are going to score wrong so let's handle another question. Now these things have become very easy. What is the reading on the micrometer screw gauge below? Who can read for us? So in this case, we go straight to the sleeve scale. First, we write our formula. Total reading is equals to sleeve scale reading plus simple scale reading. So in this case, sleeve scale reading is 3. 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5. 5. It's 5, 5.5 millimeter. It is 5.5 millimeter. That is the sleeve scale reading. Then now can we read the simple scale reading? It's going to be, we are going to read this value here, which is in line with the horizontal line of the sleeve scale. So this is 20, 21, 22. So this is 22. So in this case, there are 22 divisions. Then what we do, it is 22 divisions times the accuracy, that is 0 0.01. Then we are going to get 0 0.22 millimeter. So in this case, for us to get total reading, we are going to add the sleeve scale reading plus the simple scale reading, which is going to be 5.5 .5 millimeter plus 0 0.22 millimeter, which is going to give us an answer of 275. That is 5.72 millimeter. And that will be the reading on that instrument. So that marks the end of our lesson today. 
I think it has been very simple and simplified at ECLMU. For more questions on this, visit the ECLMU website and you will get uh, learning simplified.